all right um hey guys welcome back to my video today is a really really exciting one i've been waiting for this spinner to be made for about like i don't know three four months already and yeah it was finally made and i was able to get one um it is from njt uh and yeah um if you guys didn't know i have um a discount code for uh njt use daily dose 10 to get 10 percent off i'm gonna leave it on the screen so yeah and also don't forget to check out the other the other channel sponsors down below as well you can use my code daily dose of features to get 10 percent off your entire order and yeah um let's get right into it so i'm gonna get my package there it is one sec get my knife and my stuff like that all right let's see all right and now let's go ahead and get this thing open Really, really excited, guys. All right, and again, uh, check out Sully's site and Facebook page down below NJT Hand Power on Facebook and NJTPower.com. I believe I'm not too sure. I'll, I'm gonna leave the links down below and use code DAYDOS10 to get 10% off. All right, let's dig into it. Here's Perfect. There we go. All right. Wow, this is this is heavy. So where do I want to cut this from? There we go. Wow, all right, here it is. So I did get the machine finish and then black inversion. There you go. Spinner, Nobu, Tungsten, Blackened, number three. There's a size, but I want to also measure it as well myself. 12 1. Great. Awesome. All right, here it is. I'm going to put that to the side. Let's go ahead and open this. And there it is. Machine, no, I think it's just blackened. Yeah, it's blackened. Perfect. This thing is, oh, such a good weight. Go ahead and take it apart real quick. All right, let me get my scale. So the buttons alone are 88 grams. These are the heaviest buttons I've ever seen. The body is 144. And altogether it is 234. Almost as heavy as the tungsten mame that I have, but just not quite. It's like eight grams shy. All right, let's give it a first spin. Yeah, this this is perfect, on point. Sully absolutely nailed it. 
perfectly balanced. Wow. All right. Yeah, this is this is quite amazing, guys. So this is the Nobu um, 2.0. I actually have the Nobu 1.0 in Zerk, so I'm gonna get that real quick. I'm going to make a comparison video later on, but I just want to try these buttons on this thing. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and measure this. The buttons are 24.3. This is 19.8. Fifty, nice. Yeah, this is a a beast of a spinner. Oh my god! All right, let me <clears throat> take off the buttons. Zerk Nobu buttons. These are thicker, I believe. Yep, a bit thicker. But let's see how they look on this thing. These are still Zerk buttons, but they're still pretty heavy. But I want to see what the weight is. One eighty three. That's kind of perfect. All right. Wow. This is amazing. Actually, since these buttons are smaller, Try these buttons, these Zerkatai buttons from the NJT Vader. Damn, I think these are a bit too thin. Yeah. If you hold it like, like this, it can still work. So yeah, maybe I can get like a longer screw and some shims, I think it'll work. Yeah, here are the sides of the buttons. One sec. Yeah, I love the finish on these buttons. It's not like fully polished, but it's like, Kind of like grippy, which I kind of love. Amazing. It feels very, really, really good. The buns are amazing as well. We'll probably end up uh, swapping the bearing, but we'll see. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna be comparing it to other tungsten spinners.
So more tungsten bar spinners. So I got this. I got the tungsten mommy. What else I got? Where's my other stuff? Um, give me one second. I'll be right back. So actually, I'm not going to compare it to everything I have. I'm going to do that a bit later because I have some tungsten spinners that are bars that I have not revealed yet. So yeah. Um, so let's stay tuned to see what those others are. And yeah. Stay tuned. Alright, let's start with the weight for these things. I'm gonna start with this thing, Luna Torque. Nice little spinner, 110, amazing weight. Uh, and then we're gonna get the Tungsten Mini Ergo, 164. And then this guy, 185, 234. And 240, so this is still the heaviest, but I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I'm gonna put this away. <coughs> Rip headphone users, but all right. good ah uh, bearing got dirty already somehow I'm definitely gonna change the bearing so yeah all right I'm gonna do that later off camera so yeah size comparison Yeah, not the longest, but also not the heaviest. So yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this video up here. Yeah, just stay tuned for more videos with this thing. I'm going to compare it to a bunch of things. Um, after I reveal them on the channel, of course. So yeah, alright, um, that'll be all. And see you guys in the next one.